the voice. You know the one that's in your head. Is that your friend or someone trying to, is out to get you? That's the conversation we're going to have on Self Love Monday. How you doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. I remember one of the uh, first times I was actually shared about the voice. You know you hear it all the time. But I remember I was at an event and the guy on stage made the comment about the voice, to listen to it. He was telling everybody to, to listen to it. And it was funny because my voice was sitting there saying, shh, there's no voice in here. And so I'm kind of chuckling to myself because I'm saying, now I understand why I see the world and why I act the way that I do. I said, my voice is a comedian. I, I don't hear you saying, shh, there is no voice in here. So it's hilarious. And I remember I shared at the event and everybody started laughing because I was I commented. I told him, I said, yeah, last night I was trying to go to bed and the voice just kept talking. So I told him, I said, I'm cool with that. But could you quiet down just a little bit so I can go to sleep and I'll join you again tomorrow? And everybody started laughing. But that's pretty much what you have to kind of do with the voice. But let me give a clear definition on what's going on. I heard uh, the rapper, what's his name? Uh, man, it, it, it's slipping my mind right now. I know it'll come to me. But basically, he did an illustration where he made the comment. He said he showed up like a little sticker, and it was of a drink. And it was like an energy drink. And let's just say we're going to call it energy drink. And what he did is he told everybody, he said, this is what I want you to do. Without moving your mouth and without words coming out, I want you to say energy drink. So he waited a second. He said, did you do it? He said, now, if you did it, you said energy drink, right? He said, but did you notice that you said it without using your mouth? wait a minute, not only that, you heard yourself say energy drink. So who's talking? Who's listening? Who is that person? And so it, it, it was a very clearing, I mean, one of those conversations that when you hear it, you just sit back and go, whoo, okay, you messing with me now, okay? I, I don't know where to go with this because I remember I shared that with a, a passenger one time and I was telling him, so who are you? And when I kind of shared that example with him and I shared with him a book I recommend, it's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, uh, U-N-T-E-T-H-E-R-E-D, The Untethered Soul. And and there he talks about the voice and getting you to understand the voice. And it's an eye awakening conversation. And I definitely recommend get it, put it on if you need to uh, get it on. I think it's on audio that you can get it and listen to it. But what it does, the whole thing is kind of the example that he used when it's recognizing the voice is not you. And one of the things that was even shared like in The Untethered Soul is like if you think about it like if, who are you? Because if you cut off an arm, aren't you still you? If you lose a leg, aren't you still you? I used to say all the time, if you couldn't speak, aren't you still you? Now people may can't hear you because you can't speak, but you're still you. So who are you? Because obviously the things we've told is us, which is our body, and our voice and all the other things, obviously it's not you because you can start taking parts from you and you're still there. And so it really starts to take you into that conversation where people talk about, why he talks about the untethered soul, where you start to say, obviously, you're a soul. But anyway, what he's sharing with you is to identify you are not the voice. Why are we having this conversation, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> it's because if you recognize that the voice, and a lot of people say, well, the voice is your enemy. 
and the same people are saying because the only thing that your voice does is is it's 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 designed to protect you. Well, how can that be my enemy if it's trying to protect me and trying to keep me safe? I don't call that an enemy. Now, because of its restricting understanding of what the world can and cannot do, and it's giving me directions on that lack of information, they can stop me from moving forward and growing if I actually start to listen to it. And that's really kind of what I'm getting to when I'm talking about the voice is saying that if you believe it's you and you start to and you understand it, it is limited as far as its understanding of the world. And therefore, because its job is to protect you, it's going to keep you away from anything that it thinks might create pain. So the whole conversation we're having today is that you have to get good at being able to sit back and listen to the voice and not let the voice make any decisions but be able, because the voice is basically taking in information that's come from all different sources media friends family your experiences it's it's from it's from all over just just gather a whole bunch of data and then it's you guys have heard me talk about the five steps we go through in any kind of decision making process that first you have words then you have Thoughts that you create from those words and those thoughts turn into stories. Those stories will create emotions. Those emotions will create feelings. So if you understand that all these thoughts are just flowing through your head, that's really what's going on. And, and, and the voice is giving you a whole bunch of them. It's kind of like I used the example again where I talked about if you go on the computer, you type in a word, you type in the word love. It's going to give you a whole bunch of different uh, things you can click, which I call thoughts. And that's the same way that we operate. And once you push one of those buttons, it's going to tell you a whole story. And that's what we do. We take from those thoughts and we create a story. But those stories will dictate how you feel in the actions in which you will take. So if you come to grips with the fact that it's all just data, it's all stories, which you guys keep hearing me say, then you start to listen to the voice and go, oh, so there's no facts to what you're throwing out here. You're just taking a whole bunch of thoughts, a whole bunch of things and throwing it into the pot. And unfortunately, I'm taking a lot of that bad information because, again, you guys have heard me use the example. I said I used to share this in my meetings. I would tell people, um, keep track of your thoughts for about three to five minutes. Well, for most people, you can do it for 30 seconds and you're done. And what you do, if it's a negative thought, it gets one point. If it's a positive thought, it gets one point. Because most people is going to be negative, 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 negative. And they might go 10 or 20 negative before a positive even pops up. So they already know that's kind of where they live and the negative thought process. And so a person that's always thinking like me, I, I'm always trying to think positively and, and, and think of things that will move me forward. And I'm always dealing with those those bad thoughts that keep coming in and they come in continuously. And I'm just sitting there like, and I'm a person that's aware of this and I'm listening to the, I'm like, you need to stop. So again, the whole reason for this conversation today on Self Love Monday is for you to understand, first, you're not the voice. And then understand it's just throwing a whole bunch of thoughts. And this becomes very crucial when those thoughts are things that are attacking you and telling you what you're not capable of doing or what you're not capable of being. And you got to recognize that's not me. But you can sit back and be the observer. Because that's actually who you are. And that's really what the untethered soul is helping you understand is you're the person in the background. You're watching all this stuff going on. Right. Because we see it. We see it. We hear it. And um, and we're experiencing all of it. So once you really come to grips with this thought process, then you're able to sit back and go. Wow. OK, so all the stuff that just was just said was just information is just thrown out there and I get to decide. I OK, not the voice. I get to decide on what I'm going to do with this information that's being thrown at me. 
And that's why, again, I always say if the thoughts that are popping in your head are moving you in a direction that you want to go, then you take those thoughts and you run with them. If those thoughts are making you sit still, like we talked about the regaining your championship, where you're sitting in a corner, you're covered up because you're afraid to get hit, which are the challenges of life. If you recognize that, then you're able to say, oh, man, you put your hands down and you start swinging back and regaining your championship, which is why I call it regaining your championship. You have the championship belt around your waist and you start fighting the world again. And you start to say, and not necessarily, I'm not saying physical, but I'm just saying from a perspective of you now said, okay, I'm in this and I'm controlling my thoughts, my actions. I'm in control of all of this. The thoughts, the voice, thank you for sharing. And that's one of the things I've done many times. It'll, it'll say stuff and then I just sit back and go, wow, thanks for sharing. Or sometimes I've even joked with the voice. I'd be like, ah, you tried to take me down that, that road, did you? You tried to take me in, to, to, in a negative path. Man, you tripping because I ain't going over there. And so, and I know some people probably heard me just say that and be like, oh, man, they might need to go get the white jacket for him. Rhonda lost his mind. You know, because you know we hear how people say, uh, people that talk to themselves are crazy. And I tell people, I said, nah, because we all talk to ourselves all day, every day. So that's just a part of the human process because the voice is not you. So that voice is always talking. Um, one of the things, again, he talked about the untethered soul is it's like, it's like having a roommate that's there all the time that goes with you everywhere, where, but the thing is they just don't stop talking. And if you notice that the voice and you look at the voice like that and be and the reason that you're looking at it that way is because you're saying, it's not me. I'm not the voice. Then every time something pops into your head, you get to evaluate and determine on whether this is good information in other words, just move me in a direction I want to go, or if it's bad information. And if it's bad information, then I have to learn how to let it go and, and recognize again, it's not me. I didn't come up with that idea. That was the voice, man. It, be, it comes up with all kinds of stuff. And that's because even when you're sleeping, your brain is still working. That's why they tell you, be careful when you go to bed, what you're watching on TV or what's the last things you're listening to and stuff. Because your brain, even though you're asleep, it's still picking up stuff. So it's got some stuff you didn't even know it picked up. So you have to become very aware that when the voice starts out here talking, because again, that's one of the challenges that you'll hear a lot of people talk about is that self-talk, which gets them depressed. And that's why I said, if you recognize, but yeah, but that voice is not you. And that's where you can actually decide to get into a conversation with it. Because when it's telling you you're not worthy, you're not good enough and all that, you say, <laughs> well, you had a right to your opinion. Again, I know for some, you probably be like, uh-oh, Ross. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you got to understand that's what it is. It's not you. You're not the voice. So um, I remember, who was it? Uh, Mr. Brown, part of uh, um, Tyler Perry's uh, programs, when he said, I said self, and myself said, huh? <laughs> that's really the idea. It's funny, but at the same time, you got to recognize that's exactly what's going on. That voice, you'll notice how it, it's on one subject, and next thing you know, it's on a totally different conversation. You're like, where the heck did that come from? It's like, we was over here on one subject, and now it's on a whole different topic. That's the way it works. You just have to understand the, it's the voice. Allow it to do whatever it is it wants to do, because what you resist persists. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you try to fight the voice, then the voice will continue to mess with you and continue down that same path. And you'll sit there getting frustrated and go, ah, I can't get control of it. It's because it's not for you to control. The voice is going to do its thing. You just have to get good at working with it and go, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And you move on about your day and then you start to program it with some good stuff. Like if it says... You're, you know, like we've used the example where people say, well, I'm overweight. Well, according to some people, but for me, I have, I get to decide on if I'm overweight or not. And if I am, then I'll start to eat differently. But you guys see how I'm having the conversation and I walk myself through that. And then I'm able to say, 
you know, but thank you for sharing because I do need to go eat a little bit. You see, it? I'm not fighting it. I just get to say, huh, that's a good, you know, that's a good point. So don't take it personal. The conversations that's going on, you just have to recognize the voice is not you. Sit back, hear it out, and then give your input because you can do in spite of what it says. It tells you to go left. And you say, thank you for sharing, but I'm going to the right. You guys follow me? The voice doesn't make decisions. It's just throwing a whole bunch of junk at you. And you're the person that gets to funnel through all the information and decide on what you want to use, what's, what's good information, what's bad information, or, or not necessarily bad information, but information that doesn't serve you. And then you get to have fun. Folks, if you want to, you can have fun with that. Look, I, I, I used to have uh, my nieces and nephews used to tell me that all the time. You know, when they were young, they'd be like, Uncle, I'm bored. And I said, because you're boring. And they go, oh, that's so cruel. And I said, wait, 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 wait. It's not the world's job to entertain you. That's your job. So if you're bored, it's because you're boring. You have to learn how to entertain yourself. Folks, there's no better way to entertain yourself than to listen to that voice. You can have conversations all day long and you can have a lot of fun with the voice and crack jokes on the things that it come up with because you know it can throw off some stuff that you just get there like, wow, now where'd that come from? That was crazy. So the bottom line is, Again, I recommend that book, The Untethered Soul, and um, by uh, Michael Singer. And it gives you a great understanding of the voice. And then for me, the major reason, again, I had, I, I'm having this topic today on Self Love Monday is because I'm saying if you understand the voice and you start using the voice to your advantage, because that's actually what's destroying a lot of people in the way they feel about themselves, is they're actually listening to that voice and saying, well, this is the way I feel about myself. No, that's the voice giving some input. You got to recognize, they ain't you. And be able to take that information and use it to your advantage. And move and go get the things that you say you want out of life. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I was trying to remember the rapper's name that, that, that did that, that, that illustration. I know it'll come up, come back up, and I'll probably mention it. I know I will mention it later on another video when it when it comes back up. But anyway, as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. So I look forward to talking to you guys next Monday on Self Love Monday for those of you who come for Self Love Monday, and then I also have Relationship Thursday. So either way, I look forward to seeing you. Hopefully, in the next few days, talking to you. Uh, self love Thursday, but if not, look forward to talking to you again on Monday. Go out here and enjoy your life. Have some fun with the voice and just realize the voice is not you. So don't let it tear you down. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye bye.